Yo, what up, what up, everybody? Since I find myself sans job these days, I've got a little bit of free time on my hand. I decided to get out a little bit early and uh, go do some fishing. Had some errands to run. I was out of the house, and I was like, I don't want to go back home. So I grabbed a couple of rods before I left out, and um, I come out here to uh, one of our local reservoirs, enjoy the scenery, the peace and quiet, cast a line, and... Uh, Hopefully pick up a couple of the big green ones. All right, all right. Yeah. Just finished putting on all my sun gear. Grab my rods. And we're off. Let's go. Let's go find our first spot for the day. Yeah, here we are, here we are, spot number one. Chosen specifically for this beautiful log that uh, I'm going to sit on while I set up all my gear. All right. First things first, just get this drop shot set up. And then he uses Ryugi one not weedless, or Rattler with a weed guard. Right, these are nice because they have a uh, they have a really nice gap, as you can see there. And I mean, it hooks them. Plus, this weed guard's pretty nice as well. Since I'm going to be uh, nose hooking most of what I put on this, um, normally I'll nose hook it and try to go over the barb a little bit to make it a little more weedless. But yeah, there she is. Start off on the drop shot with a Oxblood Red Flake Straight Tail Robo Worm. Love these hand poured worms. These Robo Worm hand poured worms are the best. It's a color you might be sleeping on, but Oxblood Red Flake. Just make sure to get the salt out a little first. There we go. Make it stretchy. Change the color a little bit on the back there. One knot hook, three sixteenths pencil weight. Let's see here. I use this rigging primarily in a place like this where it's mostly grass or else I would just straight nose hook it. But I, even though this is weedless, I still expose it a little bit just because uh, there's a lot of grass here in this area. First cast of the day. Man sure took that one. Switch over to the jig. All right, just got over this little rise, and we're just right over from the first spot, and now we're on the next little cove. Let's go. I don't know what's up with this here, but this catfish just all of a sudden uh, popped up. It looks hurt. Might even be dead, but he's not floating upside down. So, I don't know. Let's hit him on the head with the jig and see what he says.
He's not dead. He's just not doing well. Poor guy. All right, we're gonna switch over to the drop shot for a minute here. Uh, let that catfish go on his way. Maybe he'll uh, bring a bigger predator since he's just floating around. But for now, let's try to do our thing. All right. All right, baby, let's go. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, uh, and with a monster. You're gonna learn today. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Right through the side of the lip, just the way you want to see it. Those Ryugi hooks are nice, though. Oh, yeah. Man, I love these Phoenix rods. Look at that, huh? Guess we're doing it today. All right, we're going to let her go. I don't know, it's about, you know, Two, two and a quarter pounder. Let's see what we got. All right, baby. Thanks for playing. Let's go. Come on. All right. One way to go. Spot number one on the. Uh, on the rover worm. Gotta love it. Oxblood red flake. All right, the little guy took my worm, but you know, on my walk down here, one thing that I didn't show was somebody had left behind a uh, couple of hand pours already. And these are a couple of robo worms that I use and specifically this looks like either a tequila sunrise or a margarita, margarita mutilator. Maybe the MM3. Uh, we'll release the salt on it and we'll see if it still works. I mean, yeah, look at that. That's brand new. Must have just dropped out of their bag. All right. Try to run this as weedless as possible again. There we go. Back out to the here. Fishy, fishy. Well, the other GoPro died, so I just had to switch it up here, so let's go. Guess we're gonna go back to starting with the drop shot since that's what they're hitting on. Let's go try that here. It's an interesting day weather-wise. It's nice and sunny out, it's calm. It started out relatively cloudy this morning. But uh, it was really windy when I got here, which I was not expecting. Yeah, it seems to have calmed down a bit, though. Absolutely gorgeous out here, though. Great day. So I'm just gonna sit here and work this bank in, you know, like 10, 15 degree increments. See what I can run across here. All right, fish on, let's go boy.
They are hitting the drop today. Aren't they? Man, these Ryugi, Ryugi hooks are good, but he just swallowed my room up. There we go. Number two for the day. Great looking fish. Nice volunteer. All right, buddy. Thanks for playing. Nice hog. I'll spawn out, though. Let's get this hook out of my hand, and we'll get him back in the water. All right. Hook's out of the hand. Thanks for playing, buddy. And off he goes. Nice. We're going to start heading back towards our first spot and back to the truck. Let's get up this steep ass hill first. You know, while you're walking and fishing, you never realize how far you've walked. <laughs> Until you gotta walk back, that is. Yippee skippy.